Hello grade 6, welcome to another math class. For today, we are going to combine like terms and we are going to identify also if the expressions given are equivalent. So let us first start with combine like terms, page 395. So what are like terms? Like terms are terms that have the same variables with the same exponents. Numerical terms are also like terms. So to understand it more, let us have examples. We have 9n plus 4n plus 8. We have here three terms. The three terms that we have are 9n, 4n, and 8. So we are going to combine like terms. Again, like terms are terms with the same variables with the same exponents. So we know that 9n and 4n are like terms because they have the same variable n and they have the same exponent which we can see if we don't see the exponent that means it is 1 so we can combine the two terms we cannot combine 8 with them since 8 is a numerical term it doesn't have a variable with it so 9n plus 4n to do that just add or subtract or combine their numerical coefficients or the numbers beside the variables so we have 9 plus 4 is 13, and then the common variable is n. So that will be 13n, and then put plus 8. Again, we cannot combine 8 with 13n because they are not like terms. Another example is 5p minus p plus 12. So you are going to identify first the like terms. We have 5p and p. And we are going to subtract. Now, you might think what number is beside P or what number we are going to subtract. So, just like the exponent that I explained to you a while ago, if you don't see any number beside a variable, it means 1. That means there is only 1P. So, that will be 5P minus 1P, which is 4P. And then, you cannot combine 12 with it, so plus 12. Now, let us proceed to page 407 to identify equivalent expressions. So, we are going to use combining like terms for us to identify equivalent expressions or expressions that have the same value or equal. So, in identifying equivalent expressions, we will not just use combining like terms or addition and subtraction, but we can also have the other operations like multiplication and division. Now, unlike addition and subtraction, it doesn't matter if the terms are like or unlike in multiplication and division. So, in multiplication and division, you are just going to multiply or divide the, the numerical coefficients or the other numerical terms. So, let us have this example. We have to determine whether 10t times 4 is equivalent to 14t. Since 14t is already one term, then we can just leave it and we are going to solve 10t times 4. So we have 10t times 4. Just like what I told you, it doesn't matter if the terms are like or unlike in multiplication or division. Just like this one, 10t and 4 are unlike terms. They don't have the same variable with the same exponent. Because 4 here is a numerical term. But we can still multiply them. So we are going to multiply the numerical coefficient by the numerical term. So 10 times 4 is 4t. And then you are going to put the variable. It means t times 1 or simply t or 40t. Now you are going to determine if 40t is equal or equivalent to 14t. And obviously, they are not equal. So, 10t times 4 is not equivalent to 14t. Now, determine whether 7y plus the quantity of x plus 3y is equivalent to 10y plus x. Now, let us have first 7y plus the quantity of x plus 3y. Now, if you have expression like this, you can use the order of operations. So, as you can see, the terms inside the parentheses are unlike terms. 
So, we cannot combine them. But there is a term inside the parenthesis that is like the term outside which is 7y. And that is 3y. So, that means we can combine 7y and 3y but we cannot combine them with x. So, we have 7y plus 3y is 10y plus x. So, we have here 10y plus x comparing it to the other expression. That means they are equivalent. Now, let us see 10 times the quantity of m plus n and 10m plus n. So, for the first expression, we can use the distributive property. So, 10 times m is 10m plus 10 times n is 10n. And the other expression is 10m plus n. So, are they equivalent or not? So, if you are still confused on how, then do it by term. So, look at the first terms. Yes, they are the same. But the second terms are not the same. That means they are not equivalent. Now, for us to check if they are equivalent or really not equivalent, then we can substitute the value for m and n. Let us use 2 for m and 4 for n. So, that will be 10 times 2 plus 10 times 4. 10 times 2 is 20 plus 10 times 4 is 40. And that will give us 60. Now, let us go to the other expression. We will still use the same value. So, we have 10 times 2 plus 4. 10 times 2 is 20 plus 4 is 24. So, as you can see, they are really not equivalent. So, that's it. That is how we combine like terms and identify equivalent expressions. I hope you find the lessons easy again, just like the previous lessons in this chapter. So, I want to see you all again in our next class. And thank you for coming today. Goodbye!